What's up guys, I'm in Paris, France, and it's raining. But it's nice out, and I'm gonna walk to the Eiffel Tower anyway. There it is, way off in the distance. This is the Champ de Mar. Um, so it's like the park that the tower is in, but we're still a ways off because this park is massive. But we're gonna go to the feet of the Eiffel Tower. Holy moly, this is beautiful. Despite the rain, still absolutely beautiful. But, uh, I mean, obviously you prefer to see it in daylight because it's so foggy, you almost can't see the top. But it's still absolutely stunning. Legendary, of course. When you think of France, you think of the Eiffel Tower. All right, it's pretty much as close as we can get to the feet. And voila. Pretty big. It doesn't look so big, but it's, I think, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like 900 feet. Like, it's pretty tall. And, yeah. One of the most legendary places in the world. I don't know if any of you watched The Weekenders when you were younger, but do any of you remember that episode where, I think it's Carlos, he's making fun of how the French ambulance, uh, the ambulance goes, wee woo, wee woo. It's true. It does do that. What's up guys, it's the next day. Uh, today we're going to walk to the Arc de Triomphe and visit the Musée d'Orsay. So let's go. That's the River Seine. Very beautiful, very busy area. Aha, there it is. Still a bit far away from it, but pretty majestic. Man, this is off topic, but everybody vapes here. Like, every second person I walk by has a vape. Anyway. The entire arc is just surrounded by this mess of a roundabout. Hard to get over there. But yeah, I think, correct me, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But I think this was built after World War II when France was liberated by the Allies. I was way off. It was actually built uh, in, remem in remembrance for those who died in the French Revolution. Construction started in 1806 and it was completed in 1836. Thank you, Google, for saving me from embarrassment. All right, we're gonna head towards the Musée d'Orsay. Check that out. But we're in this absolutely beautiful square right now. Just taking a moment to appreciate that. All right, here we are at the museum. Let's check it out. See, the other thing today that I've noticed about Paris is it's just hordes of school children everywhere. Hordes and hordes and hordes of school children. Which is to be expected, there's like a hundred billion museums in the city, but yeah. The museum's actually in the old train station of Paris, and they've converted, in, converted it into a big museum with art, sculptures, furniture, and other things. Kind of reminds me of Grand Central Station in New York.